Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today we're reading day six of the book series, The Month of Christmas, written by T. Ferris. Now this remarkable story is all about Santa Claus, the reindeer, the elves, the fairies, and all the wonderful animals and people that live in the North Pole. Please see the link in the description below for previous chapters leading to this story. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. Day 6, Game Day. On day 6, the elves play card games and board games and all the games like marbles and jacks. Day 6 is a special day for games. And the elves love card games. They play Old Maid, Go Fish, Crazy Eight, Fairy Cards, Health Cards, and Jack Cards. Did you know Old Maid was played back in the 1800s during the time of Queen Victoria? Some people say it came from a French or German card game. Now here are some of the cards the helps used to play. Now Go Fish was invented in England by John Jacks Jr. way back in 1851. It was first called Happy Families and appeared at the Grand Exhibition in Hyde Park, London. Crazy Eights began in 1930s. It is similar to the game Switch, played in the United Kingdom and to Mama, popular in Germany, you know, which is similar to Crazy Eight was invented in 1971 by Merle Robbins, a barber in Reading, Ohio. Fairy Cards was invented by the Pink Sugar Flum Fairy. She made a deck of magic colored cards. The players get seven cards and must match their cards to the colored card that magically appears. Up to four people can play at once, taking turns, and the first one to have matched all their cards is a winner. You can even play it by yourself, kind of like solitaire. If players do not have a color card that matches the magic card, they must draw one from the card deck. Health cards was invented by the elves, of course. There are two decks of cards, one red, one green, and one player chooses a card from either deck, and then the other player chooses a card from either deck. Now the player with the higher number card keeps the cards. And if it is a tie, they each keep their card. Now when all the cards are gone, the player with the most cards is the winner. Elf cards is similar to the card game, War. No one knows when War was invented. It is a very old game. Jack cards was invented by Jack Frost. And it is similar to blackjack, but instead of 21 players, take turns picking a number between 1 and 50 as the number to get. Well, that is the magic number. Jack loves to be the dealer, and few elves have ever beaten him. He deals out two cards, and then he and the other players can draw more cards or stay with the cards that they have. Whoever is closest to the magic number wins and keeps the cards. The player with the most cards, when all the cards are gone, is the winner. Now get a deck of cards and play. Black Jack. 
Black Jack originated in France around 1700. Some elves say Jack saw the game at that time, but he says he invented it and the French copied him. What do you think? The elves also love board games and they play Santa Strip, Ludo and Candy Cane Land. Santa Strip is a game like Shoots and Ladders. Did you know Shoots and Ladders are also called Snakes and Ladders? Originated in ancient India and was brought to Great Britain in the 1890s. Ludo is based on Pachisi, which is also an Indian game from the 6th century. Ludo first appeared in England in 1896 when the Royal Navy modified Pachisi to make it. And in 1930, William Henry Story filed a patent for Sorry, which is also based on Pachisi. Now, Candy Cane Land is a game similar to Candyland, which was designed in 1948 by Eleanor Abbott while she was recovering from polio in San Diego, California. And in 2005, Candyland was inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame at the Strong Museum in Rochester, New York. Now, the elves also play jacks, tiddlywinks, marbles, pick up sticks, and ball and cup. Did you know jacks is also called jackstones and knucklebones? Well, the modern game with a ball and ten jacks was first described in colonial times. It used a wooden ball. And Jack Frost says, he invented this too. What do you think? Tiddlewinks began as a parlor game in Victorian England. And the bank clerk, Joseph Ashton Finchjack, filed the original patent application for the game in 1888. Marbles has been played for a very long time. Archaeologists found stone marbles dating back to 2500 BC in Pakistan, and the first glass marbles were probably made in Germany around 1850. I love marbles, and they are so pretty. Now, pick-up sticks is also called jack straws or spilly canes. It is unclear when and where it started, but one possibly origin is with the Native Americans who passed the game to the colonists. Ball and Cup is a game of skill. Now the player must swing the cup so that the ball attached to the string swings up to it, and it's called Banero in many Spanish-speaking countries and Bilboque in France. It was invented in the 14th century. A version with three cups called Kandama is popular in Japan. Now the elves also like to play billiards, pinball and darts. Jack Frost especially likes billiards and he is quite good. Did you know billiards or pool evolved from a lawn game similar to croquet? Played sometime during the 15th century in Northern Europe. The green cloth on the table stimulates grass and the balls were pushed rather than struck with a cue stick. The elves also invented a billiards game and you can hit any ball with another to knock it into the pocket and they call this game health pool now the goal is to shoot all 16 balls into holes in the fewest numbers of shots and one health did it in 13 shots jack says he did it in one shot 
but no health. Believe them. Now, pinball began back in the 1800s and evolved into a game called Bigota. Over time, it became more like the arcade games that you see today. And in 1932, the first coin operated pinball ball game was made. Baffle Ball was the first big hit, and people loved it. An Asian game called Pachinko is similar to pinball and originated in Japan. That was first played using a slice of tree trunk. Now the goal was to hit the middle ring on the slice with the dot and the modern dot board with members were devised by Brian Gamlin in 1896 and he was a carpenter in Lancashire, England. Now the Sugar Plum Fairy saw many of these games as they flew around the world looking for naughty and nice people and they would come and tell Santa about a game and if Santa liked it, he would have the elves make it. He puts the card games in children's stockings and the other larger games under the tree. And maybe Santa would bring you one of these games for Christmas. If you are nice and not naughty, of course. Wow. So many different games and how they came about. Now this is a lovely, lovely, lovely story. So much to learn about. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls, for this wonderful story time. We thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.